um, yeah, it's still Sabbath here, so happy Sabbath to those who are still in Scotland and wherever. Um, yeah, I joined the LCM on the end Edinburgh, Edinburgh um, on Fincher Street, and the other time they came to Edinburgh. <clears throat> and uh, like what Ian said, I kind of like to dialogue and talk to people and just see where they are and then kind of um, offer them a book. Um, so there was a woman who was talking to myself and Patrick. She was heavily into yoga and she said she speaks to ghosts. I don't know, if Patrick, if you remember that, that particular woman, friendly ghosts, they're her friends. And straight away, I thought of a relative of mine who used to come to church, heavily involved in church, and she left church. Long story short, she got involved into yoga. And uh, now she's into tarot cards and, and all of that. So I know straight away that it's it's not a good thing to be in and definitely no friendly ghosts are there. So after talking with her, I just felt, because she, she was very talkative and I just thought it's best to just pray, pray for her and, and Patrick did a prayer. So she is someone that um, I think about a lot and just hope that she, she probably will, but she hopes she doesn't have any um, crazy demonic experiences in her life and realize at some point that those so-called friendly ghosts are not friendly at all. Um, but yeah, that's how deceived some people are, unfortunately. Also, there was um, an American couple that we we met. Um, they were Christians from America. They were visiting the Fez Edinburgh Festival. And they have uh, um, a home church that they attend. So they took a few bags of the books. And we, again, we talked for a long time. And uh, we said a prayer. Um Another group of men that came over, I think they're from Iran, and they were wearing the Fez hats. And uh, they were here to share what they know. I don't believe they were Christian. I think, I can't remember what um, religion they were. But again, they were just very interested in what we were doing and, and very pleased that there were people sharing the gospel and I was praying while he was talking because he was very enthusiastic, very energetic. And I just sensed to give him the steps to Christ. And I, I asked Patrick, do you have a steps to Christ? And Patrick handed the, not only the steps to Christ, it was the steps to Christ in, is it in Hebrew? I think. Or, or uh, yeah, it was Ar Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. And I thought, wow, I didn't even know they had that, that one in, in that language. So that was just great timing and he grabbed the book and I hope and pray that he reads it. So again, he is someone that I think about as well, all the people that I met. Um, so yeah, there was another guy that came over to the table. He saw his name on the, the banner on the table, Daniel, and he came over and he's like, what's all this about? And again, had a quick talk with him. He wasn't stopping because he had someone waiting for him. And uh, so he took, uh, grabbed the books and I said to him your name is in the bible and he was like is it really and he didn't know but just little things like that I, I like to sprinkle a little something so that he can it can trigger some kind of excitement in their mind to read and lastly there were a few others but the other one that came to mind um, there was a guy very tall guy standing looking at the the poster of the 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 uh the image that uh Daniel uh sorry King Nebuchadnezzar dreamt and he was just standing there staring at it and I went over and just asked him what do you see and again we just had a simple conversation and I asked him if he owns a bible he said yes because not many people do that I've spoken to and uh I said when you get home read Daniel chapter two and I asked him if he wanted any of the books. He was happy to take some of the books. And he kind of looked like <laughs> as tall as the statue. But so he he was, again, there's definitely people out there that are intrigued 
they're interested, they're curious, and whatever, you know, happens, happens. But we really do need to keep praying for these individuals so that God um, places the right people in front of them so that they can continue their interest, their journey, and, and find um, who they're looking for, which is only Jesus. So, yeah, it was good to dialogue and talk with these people. So I'm glad to have been involved.